Good morning, Maine East, and welcome to Blue Demon News. I'm Susan Georges. And I'm Evan Weiss. Please rise for the Pledge to the Flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. And now we will observe a moment of silence. Yesterday, we ended our show with the Canal Street Movie Trailer, a feature film written, produced, and directed by 2002 Maine East alum Ryan Lamar. A few weeks ago, Ryan and fellow Maine East alum and co-producer Chris Jennings sat down with the Blue Demon News to talk about how their time at Maine East helped prepare them for a career in Hollywood. I didn't realize how unique going to Maine East was until I got out of Maine East. I didn't realize that I fell into, you know, TV and film and, and acting, you know, and um, theater and just being a part of a real creative atmosphere. I got some really good advice from some people that said you need to learn everything that you could possibly learn. I learned that through teachers like Mr. Wonderlick and Mr. Hesser, who kind of pushed me to like learn, like I learned how to write at Maine East. I learned how to be a director at Maine East. I learned all my creative the start of my creative functioning at Maine East because it was such a, it's such a free, open environment. I think broadcasting in general just, just, just let me see, like just the creative juices started flowing. I mean, we, we were able to shoot so many different types of, of projects. We were able to get the hands-on on the equipment. Um, I had a radio show. I remember my grandmother passed away and I, I dedicated my morning broadcast to her. By doing things like broadcasting a theater where you have to put yourself out there and you're putting your name on something and people are instantly judging it. So I think this really helped me to get to that, that stepping stone where I was like, this is what I like to do and this is my passion. The fine arts department here um, really shaped me and molded me uh, in, to the person I am today. Teachers saw things in me that I didn't even know was in me till later, and they would tell me later, like, yeah, you were always like that. Yeah, you always had that. I'm like, I had no idea I possessed any of that stuff that you all saw in me. And from that to um, taking a script that we had and knocking on the doors of everybody possible to get it made 13 years later, um, and that film's called Canal Street. You know, so just going out to LA and learning everything I could possibly learn and be willing to make all the mistakes. Canal Street was released in theaters on January 18th. Check local theater listings for showtimes and be on the lookout for its release on streaming platforms. Yeah, honestly, I saw the movie on opening weekend and it was such an amazing story. Um, it has you gripped from the beginning all the way throughout the end. It really was super thrilling and I'm so proud of Ryan for making it. But here are your morning announcements. Junior Class Council is hosting Pictionary. Join us today in Common Room 2.30 after school. Free admission, sign up using the link printed on posters around the school. Seize the day and get your tickets for Newsies, opening one week from Friday. They can be purchased online at the Main East website or in the Fine Arts Department office, and by Thursday during lunch periods in the CAF and Room 2.30. Teams and organizations who would like to attend the performance as a group, see your coaches or sponsors for information about group ticket discounts. In the spirit of Valentine's Day, East Pals will be selling gourmet popcorn outside the bookstore for $1. Proceeds will be donated to a local organization that provides therapy to individuals with disabilities. Stop by and grab a bag to help spread kindness to others. Attention all girls playing badminton this season. Thursday, February 14th at 325, there will be an organizational meeting in the driver's ed room, room 173. If you are unable to make the meeting, please see Mr. Disrude or Ms. Hanusiak. Your first day of practice is Monday, February 25th. Registration for AP testing is being held at the bookstore. The deadline is Friday, March 8th. You must bring your ID and AP payment letter in order to register. If you have any questions, see Mrs. Tortorello in Student Services. Does the weather got you feeling cold? Come warm up February 16th at Snowco. Help Main East Senior Lyceum by coming to the Winter Dance. Tickets are $15 and all proceeds go to charity. Buy tickets at the bookstore today. All girls interested in water polo, there will be an informational meeting today after school at the pool. 
On Wednesday, February 20th, the Maine East Special Olympic team will be selling Dairy Queen blizzards and Dilly Bars during lunch. Oreo and Cookie Dough blizzards are $3.50 each and Dilly Bars are $2 each. Please stop by the student cafeteria to support the Maine East Special Olympics. Any boys interested in water polo? There will be a brief meeting tomorrow after school at the pool for you to attend. Have you ever wanted to learn a language not offered at Maine East? Then you should consider joining the Language Learning and Exchange. Our next meeting will be on Thursday, February 14th at 3.30 in room 330. Come join us for activities, games, and discussions. If you wish to learn and understand a second or third language, you are welcome to join the Language Learning and Exchange. Broadcasting Club is hosting a screening of the comedic classic Groundhog Day after school in room C207. Admission is free and so is the popcorn and drinks. Broadcasting Club is hosting a screening of the comedic classic Groundhog Day after school in room C207. Susan, you said that. I did? Yeah, you said that already. Oh. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, Demon Nation.